In spring, I set myself a little bit of a goal, and that was to sow and grow as many different corn varieties that I could. And to say that I was successful, it's probably correct, because I've got over 60 plants in here that I've grown myself, and they're all different sorts. I've got rainbow, I've got red, I've got orange, I've got silver, green. There's so many different corns. So today, it is time to harvest what I've got because those plants are at the end of their legs now and it's time to pick all the corn so let's see what we can find. So this plant here is the Oxicana green and I think I'm saying that correctly but it's a variety that comes from southern Mexico and it's one of the most decorative ones that you're going to be able to grow. It's really pretty, it looks just like this, deep emerald green um, kernels and it's fantastic for making cornmeal out of, not really great for eating, but it's just a fun variety to grow. And if you're going to collect seed off this, you simply just pull them off like that and just allow them to air dry a little bit longer off the cob. But it's a really easy one to harvest. Simply just pull, rip, and I think this one's gonna be definitely undersized. I've picked most of the good ones already, but, give you an idea there you go there's a little corn there usually they're much bigger than that but this was one of my favorite varieties to grow um, I've harvested pretty much everything off them already so these plants need to come out and it will make room for some brassicas for this season but there's some more exciting stuff just behind them oh, look at that To think that this massive plant is producing these tiny cute little corn it is such a great variety and if you've got kids how fun would it be for them to take one of these seeds grow the plant watch it grow as tall as this and then pick these fun colored corn and then make popcorn out of them there's nothing better than that. <laughs> now check this one out. This one is, I'd say about a foot long. And the variety, it seems like all my little tags have disappeared. So there's only one way to find out what it is. Let's break it off. I think it might be a bit dehydrated. Oh. A bit disappointed actually. I wanted it to be a rainbow one. Still pretty though. <laughs> How pretty is that? <laughs> Alright, so I just picked three from the middle, which I don't actually know what varieties they are, so take gloves off. Let's unwrap them together. This is a glass gem corn, or painted mountains is another nickname for it. So pretty. So a lot of these rainbow or decorative colored corns are purely good for decoration. Um, eating, not so great. If you're wanting a good eating corn, stick with your traditional, um, like your butter yellows and that, they're always going to be really good. But how pretty is that? Let's see what the last one here has. Once again, very similar, a lot of blue in this. <laughs> Let's see if we can find some more. How's that for a fun corn? So these ones here are the orange Aztec corn. Um, 
once again so decorative and uh, no good for eating a really handy tip when you're picking corn usually this is better for your edible varieties is you just pierce one of them with your nail and if a little bit of a milky juice comes out it means they're at perfect time for eating but hear that they're pretty hard these are quite rubbery so on skin more decorative but how pretty are those colors oh, growing corn's best <laughs> And that's the last one. Ah, I've had such a good harvest. I'm really happy with the result. And I spent a little bit of time taking out the plants that had no more cobs on them or any corn developing. And I left probably, I reckon about five or six plants that still had a few corn developing. So fingers crossed, they'll be nice and tasty or just really decorative. And if you're thinking of growing these multicolored corn or uniquely colored corn, bear in mind they're no, they're no good for eating. They're really, really not. They're really tough, quite starchy. Um, if you do want to eat them, however, you need to pick them when they're really quite young before they get to a hardened off stage. Otherwise, if they do get to that more mature stage, they are great for decoration. You can grind them down into flour to make cornmeal, which is what I'm hoping to do with probably about 70% of what's here. Or if you've got animals, livestock like cattle, you can actually feed these to them as great stock food. And the way I went about growing my corn, I grew every single one from seed. Now I sowed that seed back in September of 2019, so last year and I sowed them into a mixture of peat pots and seed raising mix and I kept them indoors because where I am it's really cold and not great for germinating seeds outdoors at that time. So I did that for about two to three weeks and once the seedlings had grown to a few inches tall I then took them outside onto my deck which is undercover to harden them off. Now hardening off is a process where you take a young seedling plant you expose them to the climate or their environment uh, but with protection so they can harden off slowly and get adjusted to that climate that they'll be going into and then I did that for about two weeks so after that I planted them out into the garden that you see behind me now my soil is quite humus it's really rich I'm quite lucky but I did add a few bags of well-aged compost and manure in there so if you've got quite a sandy soil, definitely add that compost and animal manure. If you've got a heavy clay, you can just try and break it up, rotate it over, but always adding organic matter to the soil prior to planting is going to benefit your plants. I do it every single time I plant out and I will be doing it again to the area that these were growing in for the new season crop. In terms of growing corn, they do require full sun. They need some space, the space I had is two and a half meters wide by four meters long that's the garden space i dedicated to 60 plants it was probably a bit too many to put in that space but i still got an okay harvest next year i'd probably only do maybe 30 to 40 plants and hope that i get double the yield off one plant but nonetheless it was a good amount of space um, if you don't have that type of space at home it's okay you can do a row that's maybe three meters long and put maybe five or six plants in that and the other thing that corn, especially these varieties, require is good, consistent watering. Now, I watered them quite well throughout the season until we hit summer. Australia had its worst summer and we had the bushfires just a little bit further down the road near our area of the woods and we didn't have any water. Um, so we couldn't water the garden. So hence why some of these are quite dehydrated a little bit inconsistent in the way that they've matured but nonetheless i've still got a decent harvest so they're the main things if you're growing corn is probably good soil lots of sun and good watering and if you can good feeding too but other than that i'm really chuffed with how many i've got so what i'm going to do i am going to take all these kernels off 
all of these, dry them out, probably collect 50% of them for seed. And then the rest, I shall hopefully try and make some cornmeal and a lot of popcorn. <laughs> Until next time, guys, happy gardening, and I'll see you then.